Hey guys, it's Eva here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I pre my hair for my Jumbo Knotless Braid. What you might be needing is shine and jam, a rat tail comb, some clips, rubber bands, and ribbons. So I'll be taking a bit of the shine and jam and putting it at the back of my hand just so that it's a bit closer to me. So now I'm going to split my hair into two sections, like I'm going to part it into two sections and then part the front of the hair into two sections again. So to start the actual parting, I'm going to be starting with the back of my hair and all I'm doing is to line the rattle comb from the tip of my ear and then part my hair from my left ear to my right ear. Next, I'm going to be making the line as crisp and as neat as possible. And to help with that, I'm going to be using my shine and jam, like from earlier, and then I'm going to apply it on the lines I have already created. And after doing that, I'm then going to go in again with my rat tail comb to make that line more cleaner, or rather to clean up that line. And I'm very sure that you can see that this line is as clean and as crisp as sharp and the trick honestly is your your shine and jam and then your rattle comb yeah, 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 once yeah. i'm done doing that i'm just going to fix that hair into a rubber band just so that it stays out of the way and i'm going to move on to the next row so moving on to the next row, we're still going to make the same line, we're still going to pass it from left to right and we just want to make sure that it's the same size or the same width as the first one just so we don't have irregular um, sizes of or rows. Go back in with your shine and jam and apply on the line and then Go back in with your rat tail comb to clean that out. Try your best to make sure that it's clean and sharp. And after doing that, you put that in a hair band. When you get to the next row, you're going to notice that you would definitely have a curve. So all you have to do is try to make sure that this curve is curved, like <laughs> try to make sure that it's curved and then you maintain the same size on this particular row and then put it in a hair tie and remove on. Because once you get to the top of your hair, it's definitely going to get smaller which is why you're going to be having that curve. It's making sure that this last row is equal in size and yeah. Once I'm done confirming, I'm just going to put it in a hairband and that's that. For the back hair, you want to make sure that you have four rules all together after you after passing it. And then we're going to be moving on to the front hair. So from this front um, part, I'm going to be adding some shine and jam just to make sure that my line or my center part is as crisp and as clean. So to line the front with the back, all I'm going to be doing is to line it with the parts that I already did at the back just so that they join or they meet. I'm going to be using my rat tail comb and making that part and just knitting it up with my shine and jam and then we'll move on to make the next part. So yeah, we have a total of six rows in front, which is three on the left, three on the right, and then we have four behind. So what I'm going to be doing here now is to make individual parts for the individual braids. 
and then like before using my shine and jam and my wrap tape comb i'm going to clean up that part the laces tight on my sneakers sink my heartbeat up with the speakers tie the laces so moving on to the next row and using the brick layering technique i'm going to be making a square on top of the previous square i had made earlier i hope i'm making sense that way we're going to have each square on top of each other if that makes any sense anyway i'm going to be showing you guys in a bit so parting this square i'm going to be going on here ahead to use my china jam and then use my rattle comb to clean that out and after that we're going to be putting it in a hairband so this was what i meant when i said um brick layering as you can see they are on each other like each square on each square we have like two um squares i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah that's what i mean by brick layering notice the way it looks now on um, at the bottom we have four squares and at the top we have almost six squares so for the next row I'm going to be repeating the same process I did earlier and I'm going to be using the same brick layering technique so I'm just going to be making um, two squares on top of the one beneath it and then going ahead with my shine and jam and my rat tail comb as always I'm going to clean that out and times are to find What's a girl gotta do to catch a break? So I'm just going to allow you guys to take all of this in while you listen to music in the background. I take it one day at a time. So if you have any questions, please make sure you drop it in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer you when I can. Been so long since I wrote a sad song, sunshine on my face. Just for the record, this is the first time I'm doing this on my own and I had a guide with me. If you are finding it kind of hard, just make sure that you watch this video repeatedly and I think it will get easier for you because that was how I was able to do this on my first trial for the first time. So, yeah. And I'm ignoring my phone so don't try to reach me. I can't do nothing for you. So don't ask, I ain't coming through Cause I'm running away to my After all of this section, I had a total of 24 to 26 sections Or square parts if you want to call that So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial And this is the pre-part video Which is the part 1 So definitely I'm going to be linking the part 2 in the description box And I hope to see you there Bye Since I wrote a sad song Sunshine